What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today what we're doing is a simple but free mod to the Fitch and Cummins here behind me. And that is removing the foam on the intake baffle on the truck. We're not gonna remove the entire intake baffle and keep it out and I'll explain why once we get to doing that. But we are gonna remove the foam from it just because the foam serves absolutely no purpose other than sound detonation to the truck. And I understand it because manufacturers, you know, Frank and Sally that are 70 years old and retired hauling their fifth wheel around the country, they don't want to hear a loud truck so they're spending tons of money on these nice trucks and they want it to be nice and quiet a smooth ride but us as vehicle enthusiasts that's me and you guys watching hopefully we want to hear those noises that make the horsepowers of these trucks to make them go I mean it's slow right now but we want to hear that noise so uh, we're gonna remove the foam around the intake baffle and there's another reason to it there's a pretty slim chance of it but once that foam ages and gets old it might deteriorate and get sucked through the turbine and we don't want to deal with those problems and uh, to be honest it's probably just a really Really good excuse to remove that and on the plus side we could hopefully hear some more turbo noises so what we're gonna do is go for a quick drive truck completely stock the way it sits see if I can film and capture some of the stock turbo noises on camera for you guys and then we'll come home remove the baffle I'll explain why I'm not gonna keep the baffle out we'll take the baffle out take the foam off put the actual baffle back in and then we'll see if we notice any sound differences in what we could hear from the turbo so Got the uh, got the gauge set on boost pressure. Trying to do a little pull, get on the highway. Not sure if you guys could hear it on camera, but I could hear it in person. Normally you could hear pretty good. We're gonna. This is like a back road. We're gonna go down this hill and then up the other side. Typically, once you start going up the other side of a small grade, you could hear the turbo pretty good then too. So. on it obviously because you'll hear more engine noise than you will turbo noise but I hope you guys can hear that through the camera I can hear it in real life uh, getting close to like 15 pounds of boost I can smash the accelerator and probably get upwards towards like 20 plus but I feel like at that point you're just gonna hear nothing but engine noise so I'll try to get on it one more time a little bit start hearing a lot, a lot of tire noise too so i uh, gonna go back home real quick now get the intake baffle um, foam out and we'll go back for the same exact drive all right guys there she is intake this is the stock intake on the truck intake box obviously then you got like a little 90 degree right here. The baffle and everything is right here. It's all right here in this canister. And you see it takes like another 90 degrees and goes right into the turbocharger itself. So we don't have to remove any of this stuff up here. We just kind of unbolt the clamp right here on this little flex pipe. We'll pull this out. It's actually kind of warm right now. I'll pull the baffle out, show you guys what's inside this thing. We'll take it apart. I'll explain why we're not keeping it out. We'll put it back together and go for drive. A few moments later. 
All right, guys, so check this out. They must have changed something pretty big in the fifth gens versus fourth and whatnot. So you remove this hose clamp, remove that hose clamp to take this part off, and they don't even put a hose clamp on the bottom piece anymore. They just put like one of these kind of clamps. So I gotta go buy one to replace this with. But you pull this elbow out, set that up there, and this is the piece right here. This is the baffle that needs to come out. Aha! Then you can see turbo down right there. This is a completely new design. And I just broke it. This is a completely new design for must be 1920 and 21 fifth gens because the fourth gens did not have this. I'll show you a picture right now of what the fourth gens have. Um, it's just pretty dense. There's no foam on this one. So that obviously tells me that the foam that used to be on these intake baffles was must be an issue. Must have been an issue. So um, this is strange. I'm actually not gonna I'm not gonna keep this out. Um, Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure what to do now, but the whole point of this video is to take this foam out. There's no foam on the 21, so. Um, but here's why we're not going to keep this entire thing out. Now these ones are shaped a hell of a lot different than the than the previous generations. The old ones actually have like a scoop on it. There's a really good video on YouTube. It's uh, like a 20 minute video from Marion Blair. I'll link it in the description below. And what he did, the reason why he said do not take the intake baffle out itself just to take the foam off is because the way these are formed, like the way these intakes are going to a 90 degree angle, if you take the baffle out completely, you're getting direct air, which is good, which gives you better fuel mileage, but you end up lacking engine performance. Reason being, these baffles actually keep the air going directly to the center of the turbine uh, and distributing that air equally and making the turbo spin really nicely. Whereas, since this is a 90 degree angle, if you take the, the baffle out completely, it most of the air ends up directing right it goes in and goes right to the bottom of the turbo which wears the bearings out and everything and uh, gives you actually like worse engine performance even though you get better fuel economy because it is a straight uh, you know straight air you're getting forced air versus having that thing and distributing it um, damn um, that's strange so there was obviously a problem with the old design with the old uh, with, the, with the foam being on the old one like I said because 2021 Ram, there is no foam on that baffle. No foam on that baffle at all. So um, I guess that kind of just defeats the whole purpose of the video. Um, but in general, I'm still going to upload this, obviously. I'm just going to put that baffle back in, get a hose clamp for the other end, um, and put the intake back together. And then I guess at some point, we'll probably do like a, uh, like a cool air intake on this truck and we'll replace the stock one just in general um, for a better design, a little bit more free flowing design. Huh, I guess we're not going to go for another ride <laughs> because uh, there's no foam to take off this thing. There's no foam to take off this thing, so, hmm. Oh well. Well, guys, I guess that's kind of it. So we did learn one thing new today, and that is that the fifth gen intakes are completely designed differently than the fourth. Um, there's no foam on that intake baffle whatsoever. I'm not going to pull the intake baffle out because I don't know too much about it yet. And I do not want to have air hitting that 90 and just hitting nothing but the bottom of that turbo, wearing out the bearings and giving me worse engine performance. The reason why I'm not going to take that baffle out is because the video that I have linked in the description below, that gentleman did a bunch of runs with like a nice plug-in scanner on his dashboard. He did a bunch of runs with the truck completely stocked, then he did a bunch of runs, these same exact runs with the same air temperature and everything with the baffle removed. And although he did get better fuel economy with the baffle removed, he got a little bit less engine performance. And that uh, he's saying a lot of that has to do with the way that the air is hitting the turbine and making it spin. So I'm not gonna remove that. I'm just gonna button it back up. I gotta run to the store real quick, get a hose clamp to fit that. And uh, I guess we're gonna call that one a day. So I'm not taking out the foam because there is no foam in this baffle. So um, this video will be continued at another time when we get a di different intake or, or when I find out a little bit more about the new design of these. Uh, so if you have like a fourth gen, take that, take, take that foam out. Watch the video in the description below because that gentleman has a lot of good information and a lot of good uh, research done for 
removing the, uh, for not removing the baffle, but removing the foam. So um, I guess that's all I got for you guys today. So we tried, but we failed. Uh, but we did learn that this, uh, these trucks do have a little bit different of the intake nowadays. So I'm uh, gonna button this up. I'll see you guys next week. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe, join the family, join the build. Peace.